Hi, today I'm going to show you how I make this cute penguin. In this video, I'm using white uh, rosa, blue and yellow from Salacino modeling paste. And I have mixed it with white to make it like a dusty color. Start off with a ball and then roll it out like a sausage and then slightly curve the middle of the paste and then put it on the table make sure kind of they give you a good flat base for the penguin and then just make a kind of like a wedge tail for the body and make sure all the kind of sharp edges and fingerprint are smoothing out Roll out some white modeling paint and then uh, use a oval cutter. I mean, if you don't have an oval cutter, you can cut it out freehand. Uh, it's just uh, to make the piece uh, for the front. So, brown off all the frays and give it, a, give it a good edge. I mean, at this point, um, I think. The body is a bit too tall for what I'm going to do. So in a minute, I am going to cut the blue paste off. And then once you do that, make sure you smooth out the edge where you just cut and then make the neckline a little bit smaller. And put in the cocktail stick the neck and then this is a, a color yellow and I have mixed it with some white and roll out a ball flatten it like the shape in the video now and then just cut out and three tones, <laughs> do you call them tones? Uh, uh, you, you can stick them on like this, but I think they remind me of like uh, the feet from dinosaurs. So I kind of cut off the pointy bit and then just round off the edges and then stick it to the body. To make the cup, um, the penguin is holding kind of like a cup of tea. So I have used some white paste. And if you don't have this tool, you can use the back of a paintbrush or anything like kind of like a tube shape. And uh, before you do that, make sure you put lots of corn flour on the paste and Take it out to check if it like, didn't stick to the tool. And then once you do that, that will give you kind of like the basic shape for a straight edge cut. Uh, but I think I want it to look more like a round each teacup. So I use a bigger ball tool and then just press it in to give the side of the cup a little bit of curve. So continue to do this until you are happy with the side. For the head, roll out a ball which is much bigger than the body, then put it in onto the cornflower pouch and then get a hard cutter which is as wide as the, uh, the head and then cut out a piece of white paste and just kind of put it on the head to see how it looks and then um, I want the side of the heart a little bit more round 
and it need to have the center part cut out. So I am going to just kind of find the middle and then cut kind of one third down and then just kind of follow the the curve and cut the middle part out like in the video now. After I cut out the middle, I slightly stretch the side of the heart to give it a fuller volume, both sides. And then um, when I'm happy with it, I just add some water or you can use edible glue and then just stick it on to the head. While I am putting it on, I make sure all the edges are smoothing out and then just cut off the bit that I don't want. For the eye, uh, use the ball tool and then mark out where you want the the eyes. Then I kind of elongate the eye socket with the ball tool, make it more like an old foam shape. Then once I am happy with the size. I used some white paste and half fill the eye. This is what I normally do. I push it in so that I can see how much I need. Then I cut off a bit that I want and then I just put it in and then give me a kind of a good level of paste in the eye socket. With these two steps you don't want the paste more than the eye socket you kind of want the paste slightly under under filled the eye socket area so when you push another paste in the eye will, um, the paste will not bulge out so continue with this and then level all the paste and indent the hole for the edible four balls to sit in. With the mouth or the beak, um, I use the same color paste as the feet and then roll it out like a jelly bean shape and then make both edge slightly pointed then I stick onto the face and then squeeze the middle kind of make it like a, a triangle and then make sure all the edges are stick onto the head and then use a knife and then cut the back of the head off For the head, I'm using the rosa color, the pink, and then I mix it with some white to make this color kind of like a light pink. And then I roll out a ball and then I kind of shape like a, a man on the table. Make sure the edges are as wide as the head. But if, if it is slightly smaller, it's okay, don't worry, because we're going to put the furry trim on the edge of the head. I mean, uh, I don't want to do the whole head kind of furry because 
I think by doing this, the the front, the rim look more um, stand out. Just the front bit is kind of like furry. So once I've done that, I put it on the side to rest. To finish the cup, I mean, at this point, the cup should be firm enough to add a bit of brown paste in. Uh, just make sure don't do it while the cup is soft. Ideally, while the cup is hardened is the best time to do this. To make the arms or the hands, uh, I roll out a sausage and then just cut them into shape and round off all the edges. Then I kind of slightly flatten them and then stick them on the side of the wood. To secure the cup onto the body, I have a 20 gauge wire and I stick it into the body at an angle. Then uh, I kind of like use a plier and then push the cup onto the body. Then just use some water or edible glue and stick on the hands onto the cup. Moving on to assemble the head. So just use some water edible glue, stick the head and the head together. Once that is secure, then roll out a sausage and then flatten it and then just stick it onto the head. Meanwhile, you will notice uh, I have used some edible black color and then paint on the lines for the eye and the eyelashes. And then I have the joint at the back. Cut off all the paste. And then I always have a bundle of toothpick, which I use an elastic band and then put them together. So, um, so it's ready for me to use. And then I just pull out the, the amount I need. And then I just kind of poke and drag the paste as I go along. Once I have done that, I put in a cocktail stick for the top of the head for the white bubble. And this time I am using a scissors instead. I mean, you can use the same effort with the cocktail stick, but I find Using scissors is easier for me. Uh, with using scissors, you will need a pointy scissors. It's like you have to have a point to it, otherwise you cannot uh, have the same effect, I think. And then brush on some pink edible dust on the cheek. For the handle for the cup, I have bent some 20 gauge wire into a kind of like a letter C, C shape, and then just poke it into the cup. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel for new videos and updates and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye bye!